Hi everyone, so just finishing off this pack I think, uh, one more example to do. They're not a separate vid because it's quite a big one, you've got to kind of think your way through it. And I've also got, sorry man, it's not working, um, that I'm on five minute vids. So it says, a diagram shows a semicircle ABC, AC is the diameter, midpoint of AC is the origin, so I've got an angle theta where theta is between 0 and pi by 2, so that's telling me I'm in radians. So then that angle must be pi take away theta. So the area of S1 is twice the area of S2. So S1 is 2 lots of S2. So show that. Right, so I've got information about the area, so I want to create some equations for the area. So let's have a look at S1. So S1 is a segment. Uh, let's call it R. It doesn't tell us, does it? No, nah, but we'll probably get rid of whatever the R is anyway. And that's a pi minus theta. So S1 would be the area of the sector, which is a half R squared pi minus theta minus the area of the, the triangle, half r squared sine of pi minus theta. And then for S2, let's have a look at S2. So S2 is going to be that way, isn't it? There, where that's a theta and that's an r. So S, oops, put S1 there. So S2 will be a half r squared theta minus a half r squared sine theta. There. Right, so I'm saying that S1 is two lots of S2. So S1 is the half r squared pi minus theta minus a half r squared sine of pi minus theta. So I can see these half r squareds cancelling themselves out. Two lots of S2, which is a half r squared theta minus a half r squared sine theta. And they do, don't they, the, um, the r, half r squareds? They're going to cancel out. So it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. So I've got pi minus theta minus sine of pi minus theta is two lots of theta minus two lots of sine theta. Right, so let's have a look at, be careful with that. Let's have a look at the sine A minus B. There. So I've got pi minus theta minus, so it's going to be sine pi cos theta minus sine theta cos pi is equal to 2 theta minus 2 sine theta. So let's have a look then. So I've got theta, pi minus theta minus sine of pi cos theta minus sine theta cos pi is equal to 2 theta. Can you hear the band upstairs? 2 sine theta. Uh, let's have a look. So sine of pi, so that's a sine graph. Sine of pi is nothing. So all of that disappears. Then I've got cos of pi, four minutes, oh my word. So cos of pi is minus one. So this bit here is minus one. So I'm gonna have a pi minus theta. The minus sine pi cos theta disappears. I've got minus sine theta times by minus one. So that's plus sine theta. It's two theta minus two sine theta. So what am I aiming towards here? Sine theta minus three theta. Uh, why got that? Why do I think I'll have... Let me pause this. I'm running out of time. Less than 20 seconds left, I've made a sign error. I've got minus, minus, minus. That makes our minus there. Take the two circles. So I've got my sine theta minus three theta plus pi is equal to zero. That bit runs out. I made that sign error there. Bye-bye.